So you guys, we're going to do a video. We're planning the lighting setup for the photos we're going to be taking tomorrow night. I have a pretty good idea in my head what we're going to be doing, but I want to make sure that since Nick is going to be stationary on the video camera, um, I hope you bring your R6 too. You definitely should get some photos while we're there. Yeah. Um, but since the camera is going to be stationary, we want to know where the lighting is going to go. So this is pretty similar to how we plan photo sessions here in the studio. Usually we use a dry erase board, but I don't have the dry erase board with us. So we're going to use a um, Olive Garden order takey thing that <laughs> Ariana was kind enough to give us. Um, but we're doing a night photo. We're going to be reviewing the AD 200s that Godox makes. The AD little 300. Oh, they're AD 300s. So that's why I thought they were 200 watts. So they're actually 300 watt lights. Um, which is almost the same as the Excalibur lights that we've used in the past. Those are 320 watts. Um, but essentially, we're going to be using two of those lights um, with two different modifiers. One's a softbox. One is the Octagon that we've used with the Godox V862. Yeah. Yeah. So we might be bringing the Godox. We might be bringing a third light in. I just haven't decided yet or not, but we're planning this for a two light setup and we're going to be in a parking lot because the model wants to take photos with her car and we're doing this at night specifically because I want a black background and um, other reasons. Yeah, you can do it in the daytime in the black background, but I want to do backlighting and using backlighting makes it a little more difficult to do that. Um, not super more difficult. I just don't want to deal with the sun. You guys know how much I hate that. But essentially, we're going to be in a parking lot in the town that I live in, because the studio is not where the town I live in. And there's actually a river that runs there, and there's all kinds of gigantic, awesome trees. See? Backlighting. Uh, we're going to have her park the car kind of in the corner. And for the very first lighting setup, I want to throw an 8300 here, almost straight up, depending on the branches of the tree, if not against the car, to kind of light up that backside. And the other one we're going to set up about here, a little bit further away. Because again, I want a bright light here. I just want this to fill her in and to catch the body lines on the car. It's a dark blue Subaru WRX, I think. I'm not sure. All Subarus look the same. They're ugly. <laughs> Subaru fans, I'm sorry, but it, it's true. Uh, they even ran an ad about it. They said, yes, it's not the prettiest car. Sincerely, the best built engine or award-winning engine, something like that. It's a real ad. But we'll pose, that gives us the option, just by tilting this modifier here, depending on where we want to go. So if we're going to pose the model at the back of the car, we can literally just tilt this over towards the back of the car. If we leave it stationary, we don't have to worry about more or less light. If we're having her in the middle area, again, we just straighten up the light. If we're going to have her in the front, we'll just tilt the light towards the front. And that way we're catching the body lines of the car as we want. Now that's a really simple, this would work as a one light setup if we didn't have that second light, but as a two light setup, it gives us that backlighting on the car. I think it'll be really fucking cool. Yeah, that'd be sick. Uh, especially if we can light up the trees. Mm -hmm. So if we can tilt it just right and the branches get lit up. Depending, I mean, I might just crop in on her and you don't even see the trees. Um, the second setup that I want to do, it's again, car in the corner. I really, really just want to use the corner because it's surrounded by trees. So we get a, if we did it against the road, we got to worry about cars going back and forth on the road. With this one again, car in the corner, but we're going to use both lights with their modifiers respectively at different angles so that we have an exact crossover here and that'll kind of prevent the shadows on her face while still catching the body lines on the car. At least that's the plan. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, the difference in size and modifiers is my biggest concern. Um, we'll probably put the bigger modifier in front of the car because the front of the car always looks better than the back of the car. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing a lot of work here, and then absolutely, if we have to, we can just throw. Yeah, because that other one is only like this big. Yeah. That other softbox. Yeah, that little softbox will definitely be in the back on this one. But in the front, if we're using both of them, then we've got a really, really good um, fill light, and then a good key light. Mm -hmm. So we're still highlighting her, highlighting the car, but that'll have to be our main light. It'll be almost like a Rembrandt but just not as contrasted. Yeah. It won't look like a Sears. So I think I'm going to have to be with the video over here. On you think this so? One. Just because the flashes? Yeah. So I'll be over. And then on, on this one, I'll probably just stand back off behind you. Okay. Like I do with these. Yeah. Um, so the other one that I want to try is um, on the car itself. 
that front A pillar and B pillar, I want to stick one of those lights inside the window. And I want her to pose in front of the car. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have this, the, we'll probably have the, the octagon over here. So it's filling her in, catching the body lines, but then the small soft box out the window is going to backlight her. That'll be interesting. So I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like. I mean, I've worked with backlighting before. We've done that several times already, but usually it's with an RGB. Yeah. Um, it's very rarely have we used a strobe in the back. So we're gonna have to turn it way, way down yeah. because I still want, I don't want a whole ton of contrast. Like I want her face to be very clear. Um, so this one will be turned up and a little bit closer. And then that one we're gonna turn all the way down and we'll just pose her head right in front of that. Um, I think these windows are tinted, which might make it even more interesting if we roll the window up. Oh yeah. Um, but we might even put it in the driver's seat so it lights up all the windows, but then you got the flash coming through. So, I mean, I don't exactly know what it's gonna look like, but with that lighting in particular, we're gonna be using the black mist. That'll be nice. Because the black mist will definitely like create those really pretty blooms around the window. But those are my ideas. Um, I wanna do this one again with her, if this works out well, with um, those RGB tubes you have. Oh yeah. And then my two RGBs. Nice. Because if we put the RGB tubes under the car, like it's got underglows, like this is Fast and the Furious or something, yeah. and then we run the two RGBs like this. But for this session itself, it's the first time working with her, I don't want to get too artistic with her because I want her to get usable yeah. photos once she gets used to yeah, the more exactly. artistic side, which is why this one's going to be last. So she's going to get really, really good solid photos here. Yeah, and then that's kind of your experiment. Yeah, the experiment. That way we're not overloading. Yeah. Her with experimentation. She's like, well, these photos came out like trash. I can <laughs> experiment all day long with Jessica and Ari, and if the photos don't come out great, they understand. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we do, in fact, actually plan our shoots, you guys. Like, um, usually it's not quite this in depth. A lot of the times it's a really simple setup, the setup we have right now, the two go docs. We've done this so many times that at this point in time, we know if we set them up like that, we're going to get the results that we want. But this is a little bit more experimentation, a little bit more experimental. I have a pretty good idea of the effect we're going to get with those first two looks. I have a really good idea what those two are going to look like. This one, though, that one's going to be the fun experiment for me. What do you think? I think it sounds like a good plan. Yeah, so if you're shooting video here, it doesn't matter which direction you're going. I, I've got her at. 